So guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you all a recipe for Solomon Gundy. Now, those of you who follow me on Instagram would have seen that I posted a jar of Solomon Gundy asking if anyone ever had it or if it's good. So I actually had the opportunity to taste it and it tastes just like smoked herring that has been cooked down with tomatoes. That's what it tastes like. Now, I had it plain. You can mix it with some cream cheese and have it on a cracker. So I'm going to recreate this one for you all. So to make this, you're going to start with a skillet. To that skillet, you're going to go in with some oil. And I'm using the garlic infused coconut oil from CGA to make this. It's a really good oil. When the oil is hot, we're going to go in with some garlic, hot peppers, tomatoes, sweet peppers and onions. I'm going to season this with some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning and some paprika. Now I'm just going to allow this to saute in here until all of those vegetables are very tender. Now I already went ahead and prepared the smoke herring. I took three pieces and boiled it. Try to take out as much of those bones and flake it up. So when this is finished cooking down and getting soft, then we'll add in the smoked herring. As those vegetables start to soften, you're going to add in the smoked herring. We want to impart the smoked herring flavor into the vegetables. So we're going to allow that to cook here until everything has gotten very, very soft. While this is cooking, let me just show you guys what it looks like in the bottle. It's a very, very fine paste. Okay, so this is finished. I'm just going to set it aside and allow it to cool down in the meantime. So to finish this, you're going to add your cooled mixture to your food processor. Now, while I was cooking this, I had the crazy idea of why didn't I roast the vegetables, like roast everything and then cook it down. I think if we do that, we will get such a great outcome. So I think I'll be trying that the next time. Because usually I roast my tomatoes when I make smoke herring. So roasting all of the vegetables before you chop it up would make this taste really, really delicious. So now I'm gonna process this until very smooth. And all you have to do now is empty this in a bowl. So guys, I've put some of the smoked herring in here and I've put some cream cheese. I'm just gonna mix this together because this is how it's usually served. Now you can eat it by, your, by itself or you can put the cream cheese in it. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna mix this in. You'll want to taste it and adjust your salt accordingly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe for my version of Solomon Gundy. This is no way a Jamaican recipe. This is just my take on this popular dish. So if you guys enjoyed today's recipe, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you guys make this and you make it differently, please let me know how you make it. But I definitely want to try it with all of the vegetables roasted. I think it will make a difference. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Enjoy!